you can see what, uh, what, what we have available in the new version of the program. So on that note, uh, Patty, let's uh, take a couple of quick questions uh, before we close it off here. Sure. Uh, we are running out of time, but um, a few people were asking, uh, you describe noise in a photo, and they're just asking, what exactly does that mean? What is noise in a photo? It's the little pixels that you see. Um, it's, uh, it's the sort of thing where um, if you are shooting in a very dark scene, and you have bumped the uh, the ISO up on your camera, the, uh, the so to 800 or 1600 or whatever your camera goes up to, um, you'll see it as little um, little little pixels. So where it's supposed to be a nice flat black area or a flat area of of color, um, it's got little. Um, what's called noise in it, a little, little sort of pixelation look to it. And um, the digital noise filter actually helps to flatten that out and smooth that out a bit. Alrighty. Um, <clears throat> excuse me, sorry. Uh, when you were doing the uh, hair removal on the woman's face, a couple of people uh, were asking why you weren't using the scratch removal tool. Scratch so removal. something they've used, yeah, they used it in previous versions. They were wondering if you could and is it still in X3? It's absolutely an X3, um, and uh, that is a that's a, a great way of doing that as well. Um, I just again just focused on the number of tools, and and uh, the the wonderful thing that uh, that that tells us is that there are a, a number of ways of doing whatever it is you're going to try to do. You can do some cloning, you can do some copying and pasting, you can actually create additional layers, adjustments. You can use scratch remover, you can um, you know use the uh, the blemish remover, etc. So yes, very, very good, very good that we have a user base that that uh, you know knows the the tools at that level. Um, but just it's a whole bag of tools, and you know there's there's several tools that can be used for doing any one of the the things that you're trying to do. Okay, and in regards to layers, um, can you just talk about the difference between editing and layers, or just editing the photo itself? I guess they they don't know what the difference is there. Okay, so the photo itself is effectively the background, and um, the changes that you make to that are uh, directly on that uh, that particular background. So that's kind of the normal way of doing most of the editing that people do. Um, in this uh, particular case, we used a couple of layers. Uh, in one in in the in the one example, it was an adjustment layer. The uh, um, we were able to overlay something over the top of the entire image. To make uh, make a change to the to what was going on below it, um, and uh, you there's an, a number of different ways of setting up those sorts of adjustment layers. Uh, we weren't actually affecting the layer below it, so we could still edit elements of that, but still view it through the the uh, the uh, overlay on top of it. So there's a there's a, a that's a pretty powerful way of doing editing. The other thing that you saw was by uh, using transparency on a layer, and that was specifically with the temple. The area that was transparency because we had uh, transparent because we had removed the background from it, uh, we were able to now drop another layer in behind it. So, and again, that working those two layers together in a traditional way would have been very very hard with uh, to 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 put it back there. So layers are very, very powerful. Again, um, kind of the, the fuller description is, is kind of beyond the scope of, uh, of what we could, could do today. All right, and just to follow up on layers, um, just asking if you save it as a PSC or a PNG file, does it save it with the layers intact? So if you save it as a PSP image file, uh, it definitely saves it with the layers intact. A PNG file has a number of different modes that uh, that it works with. Uh, specifically, you can save uh, that with uh, alpha channel transparency and a number of the other traditional features that come along with that file format. Uh, but I don't believe it supports the layers per se. So the 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 uh, uh, the transparency will come through. Uh, but generally, the the typical way of saving layered files is going to be as PSP image. Um, I think uh, for layers, uh, quite a few people, even as we're speaking here, asking about uh, future webinars or tutorials on layers. Can you just maybe speak to some of the current resources and what we have plans for in the future? 
Well, we're, uh, we're discussing what our plans are overall for, for these webinars. Again, uh, I think it's, it's under the general idea of we want to be able to reach out to the community and share uh, more tips and hints and how to use and what, what sorts of options you have in the program. Uh, we have a number of resources that we're putting right now toward uh, putting uh, tutorials together, posting some specific items uh, on, on uh, uh, different sites, some, uh, some YouTube videos and that sort of thing. So we're, we're trying to put some of those together, but uh, we also would love input on what people would like to see from us in the future. And uh, again, I think layers is a fairly, uh, fairly specific topic, putting together some tutorials and some um, shorter videos is possible in that regard, as well as do, doing sort of a live webinar like this to, to get some of those details out in front of people. So um, uh, we don't have um, that scheduled at this point, but definitely are looking to, to, to do additional conversations like that with the folks. All right, and I think uh, maybe what we should also point out to people uh, at this point is that this webinar was recorded or is being recorded, so we will be sending an email out to everyone tomorrow uh, with that recording, so you'll be able to go through it again and, and follow a little more closely on some of the specific features that, that you were interested in. All right, so I think that we better uh, close it off at this point. Uh, that's probably a little bit beyond our, our time that we had scheduled. So thanks, everyone, for coming. Uh, I trust that you enjoyed the review of the software, some of the tips and some of the techniques that we have. And again, the whole idea is uh, for you to get back in there and uh, be, just do whatever uh, you can to have fun with photography, enjoy photography, and always, uh, always be enhancing your skills at becoming a better photographer. So thanks everyone for coming and thanks Patty and Bernie for supporting this.